What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Red Crimson 102, the Game Master. Do you guys like my X-Men shirt? I think this is a very, very, very cool shirt. People will stop me and give me compliments on my shirt. But anyway, we're not here to talk about my nice X-Men shirt. We're here to talk about Nintendo, or should I say Yuzu, settling the dust with Nintendo. Nintendo decided to sue the company, the emulation company, or emulator company, Yuzu, $2.4 million for infringement on enabling the emulator to play Nintendo Switch games for free on whatever device. Excuse me there, guys. On whatever device. Now, listen. As soon as Nintendo shut them down and user decided to settle out a quarter of $2.4 million, two new emulators, Switch emulators, just popped up called Nuzu and Suzu, I believe. <laughs> And I'm not kidding, those are the, the names of the new Switch emulators. And the grim reality of it all, guys, you cannot stop emulation. I have nothing against emulation. I still support the developers, whether it's Nintendo, PlayStation, whatever. I'm a, I'm a big game fan. I think emulation is a good video game preservation in the for the distant future. I have nothing against emulation whatsoever, but I still support the developers. You shut one emulation company down, another one comes right out of nowhere, and there you go. So what is Nintendo gonna do? Just go around just suing all these emulation companies? That's a, that's a lot of manpower and a lot of time investment man but you just cannot stop emulation that's just what it is i think people will still go out actually people are still going out and buying these nintendo switch games and xbox playstation games whatever it doesn't matter you know come other than companies go too far and trying to sue these emulation companies but then again i take that back you know what i, I want to take that back i mean every company even nintendo playstation xbox any video game company does have the right to protect their intellectual properties. And that's all Nintendo was doing. I know some people out there are upset that Nintendo shut down Yuzu. That's because they're salty that, they, you know, the, the free lunch is over with, you know? And you know, there are a lot of people out there, believe it or not, that wants to get free video games. And I understand that guys, we're living in a world where we have to pay. I mean, you support the developers and they keep on making video games so I, I get it but i'm a guy i like to own my physical copy games i like to own my video games and i love to support you know something that i'm passionate about which are video games but the reality is you just can't stop emulation you shut one down another emulation company just pops right back up that's just it, it is it is what it is so i like to see what nintendo will do going forward but um the Switch is old, so it's, it's seven years old now, guys. So, I mean, I mean, what, what can Nintendo really do? I mean, the, the keys are probably out there. You know, it, the Switch been on the market for seven years. So by then you would think that people figure out how to break the Nintendo Switch's, you know, key codes to emulate the Switch itself. And Nintendo should have been moved on from the Switch a long time ago. <laughs> site the switch is still selling but it's to be expected man it's been on the market for a long time like eventually gonna get a hold of the key codes man so what nintendo should do is is just hey move on to the switch 2 now and i guess i don't know how they do it but i think nintendo switches around the keys every now and then i don't know how they do it but eventually it they just catch up guys what can i say the nintendo switch is old i mean you got cell phones that can actually emulate the switch now not 100 percent but you can still get working switch games several switch games to run pretty decent on cell phones so i mean there you have it man that is showing nintendo that hey you need to move on now and you know make a more powerful switch where it's hard for these cell phones and some of these devices out there to emulate switch to games Just make it powerful enough where you know it's kind of hard for these cell phones to actually you know run switch code 
or whatever the case may be. So that's all I want to say, guys, man. You know, the new zoo got shut down. I don't know if it's the same creators, but they came out with a new zoo and, and Suzu, I believe. The name sounds so similar to Yuzu. So it, it may be some of, the, some, some of these same people from Yuzu that has these new emulators, you know, up and coming or up and running right now as we speak. I don't know, I haven't looked into it. I'm a little bit too old to get into all that emulation and hacking stuff. I don't do that stuff anymore. Yes, I do have a few emulators, some old emulators, you know, to play like Super Nintendo games, you know, GameCube, PS2 and all that. But that's as far as I went. I had those emulators for like a couple of years now. So haven't downloaded anything new, haven't made any new moves as far as getting old games, man. I just been chilling. I just enjoy what I have. I'm just too old for all that stuff, guys. I'll leave that for the young people. I got a Switch to play Switch games, Steam Deck. I play Steam games on there. Same thing with the Rog Ally. Whatever the device is tailored for, that's what I use it for. Yes, I can. People have been telling me, you know, Red Crimson, why don't you put. Emmy, what's it called? Emmy Station? Emmy Station on your Steam Deck and Rock Island or whatever. I just haven't gotten around to it, guys. I'm really not interested, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure it's cool. You can run Switch games at higher frame rates, which is dope and always welcome. But it is what it is. I just enjoy the game, so what they are, guys. I mean, I'm just too old to worry about that stuff. But more of the story is if Nintendo thinks you're infringing on their IPs, they're going to come and get you. They're going to. They're gonna sue you, especially if you're making money off it. I think that's what really got Nintendo's attention because Yuzu actually started accepting donations. So it sounds like they made a pretty penny off, you know, the Yuzu emulation. But it's not gonna stop there. You're gonna have other emulation companies coming up with emulators to emulate Switch or whatever, whatever system that's out there, whatever system they feel like emulating. And that's about it guys so if you're new to my channel like and subscribe or support my channel and it'll help me i'm trying to reach that 500 to 1000 subs that'll let me know i can do this youtube thing here so let me know what you think about you know nintendo soon yuzu and these upcoming emulators that still wanted to emulate the switch it just lets you sh it just goes to show you that these these emulation these emulation guys isn't backing down I, you just can't stop emulation and i mean why would you i guess nintendo should be more protective protective of their keys and you know switch their key codes up every now and then but it's only so much you can still do about that because most people that have these emulators they actually pretty much know matter of fact and also the people that have nintendo switches these hackers that have nintendo switches they just know they're way around the, the computing of the switch and the, eventually they're going to break the code if they have the system they know how it works nothing nothing that's electronic guys is bulletproof that's just what it is and this just screams that nintendo has to move on to a newer a newer architect and more powerful switch too that way you know it'll be harder for you know hackers to make an emula emulation of their system. If they had made their system powerful in the first place, they probably wouldn't be having this problem right now. But it is what it is, man. You know, like and subscribe. I'm out of here.